getting back to, you know, child traffic, if you are so dysfunctional that you do not have anything preventing you from commoditizing a child, you don't have a role in society that is safe for the society. Because even if you were to not act on those feelings, those positions, those attributes, psychographics, however you want to describe it, even if you're not acting on it, everything that you do is going to be biased in a direction to where that becomes normalized. So if you've acted on it, yeah, you got to go. It's, it's like pulling the weeds out of a garden. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that, but you understand the metaphor. These people are ruined. They are no longer functional. The one thing a functional tribe, I'm not going to talk about society, I'm talking about a tribe. The one thing a functional tribe needs to be on board with is the protection of children because that is the procreative formula that allows the tribe to survive generationally. Like this is biology, this is philosophy, this like uh, sociology. There's so many lenses you could put over this to just see, well, if we don't protect kids, it's game over. <laughs>